This programme contains strong language, moderate pain and scenes some viewers might find offensive. Just the two of us. What the fuck? Oh, mate, what the fuck have you done? Oh. Is that... Oh, fuck. Is that... Mate, is that how little friendship is? <laughs> stand to see PG upset. This is so bad. I need to go speak to him. I just don't fucking understand. Like, why? Like, fucking, the joke is a joke. Like, I can, I can take a joke better than, like, most people, but fuck me. I feel like a massive dickhead. I do, really do. I could have just, it could have been anything. But that was the fine line. That was... So you're happy with the result today? Not happy with how he's feeling. Mm. I'm definitely not happy with the way he's feeling. The pen has stopped and these two are in bits. There must be more to this story. I am sorry. <sighs> but for the level that it's on and everything that's happened over the past 11 years, it was either going to be bitter or sweet. And I had to be bitter about it. And I know how nasty that sounds. It's time like that, mate. You should have fucking told me you had a shit ten years of your friendship. It's not a shit ten years. I at least would have come it's prepared, mate, ten for years. fucking fallout. It's bollocks. It's not a shit ten years. That's what it's you just said, mate. Yeah, but it's made me feel like shit. I was tired of being the fucking underdog all the time. And to tell someone like you, as in the person, the proud person that you are, you probably wouldn't have fucking accepted it. No, well, of course we would, mate. That really asked us for a fucking chat. We're best mate for fuck's sake. But what does the toe symbolise? That's what I'm trying to get at. The symbolise? What does it symbolise? What is a couple of Ladies pictures? man, non-stop. I mean, yeah, OK, I've been in solid relationships. But I've never been that fucking ladylike. It bugs me. That upsets me. You, you drop me on a night out for a fucking bird. As a brother, that deteriorated. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. And if you don't watch yourself, something's going to happen and I will be the one to fucking pick up the pieces. That's just a fucking warning. Harrison is worried about PJ sleeping around, so he's made PJ a walking advert of STIs. Yeah, good mate. Can we see some of the words that are on there? Yeah. Do you wanna, should we go back to the mirror? Yeah, I can do. <sighs> do you wanna stand back on the skull? Um, PJ. Yeah. <sighs> Out of curiosity, um, have you got any of those? Nah, I'm very clean, mate. Because <laughs> you do know it's going to be quite hard to get girls now. If I could go back in time, I'd have calmed it a whole new level. I didn't think he was going to fucking act like this. I didn't have a clue. That tattoo is off the scowl. Now remember, if you're going to shag, wrap up! Be safe! <laughs>